Hi Glamaholics, this is going to be a speed video, my part two. So as you can see here, I'm putting my hair up. Comb it out, but do not scratch your scalp because otherwise the cream developer, the scree, excuse me, the cream developer will burn your head. So I'm just shaking the product here. I warn you, this stuff smells horrific. As you can tell, I'm in my bathroom with my vent on and my um, windows open. So here what I'm doing is I'm just putting it and saturating it in my hair. Now you don't want to put it into your roots because your roots are going to develop faster than um, the rest of your hair. You actually want to put it on the old color, the old growth. If you have one inch of, new, of roots that have come in, then use that as your guide. Start from below that and add this because if you do put it on your roots, your roots are going to develop very quickly so you're going to wind up having white roots and probably yellow hair by the time you're done with this and at that point if your roots are white you're going to have to put on a base color um, before doing anything else my goal is actually go to go to platinum but i'm taking it in slow stages and i'm going to let you know um, how i'm doing it as i've told you before i'm not a professional colorist i've learned uh, along the years from the colors and the hairdressers that i've worked with as a model so please use caution if you're doing any of this yourself please uh, do a strand test uh, which is what i did prior to doing this to make sure that the quality of my hair was good enough to take all this processing um, so like i said it's the first time i'm using this product i usually use um, revlon color remover i'm just pointing out don't put it on your roots <laughs> Um, I used the color remover, which I was very pleased with, but somebody suggested to me to try this Garnier Extra Light Cream Developing Bleach, and they said it was very good, so I'm actually testing it out and giving you guys my opinion on this product. So yeah, it smells awful. So just, you know, try and do it as quickly as possible um, to get it through and really saturate everything properly. Now when you first put it in, um, you, you want to leave it in about 20 minutes to 25 minutes um, on this part of your hair with a maximum of 45 minutes, So, which means the minute you start your application you should set a timer. Um, you should have it in that part of your hair for about 20 to 25 minutes. I'm just adjusting my lighting. <laughs> um, and then for the last part of it, put it on your roots for the last 20 to 25 minutes, depending on how your hair develops. Uh, that's why I strongly do suggest doing a strand test uh, so you know how long it's gonna actually take your hair to develop to the color that you wanna get it to. So uh, don't panic. One thing I've learned, I've pretty much well removed color from my hair so many times, your hair is gonna get to all those crazy colors, it's gonna break down the reds go to the oranges and yellows and it will get brassy um, I'm gonna share with you my experience on how I'm getting to this platinum blonde um, the quality of my hair what happened uh, the toning uh, the maintenance from what I know um, so I'm gonna take you through my little journey of this crazy process so um, also I will be putting up pictures of last time when I had my hair when I went from black to red because I didn't put it on my first tutorial because like I said I'm new to this whole uh, YouTube thing so don't mind me if uh, you know my videos are not 100% great I'm just trying to give you you know the way that I know how to do things and I'm still learning how to use my iMovies so <laughs> bear with me oh yeah plastic cap to develop it faster because heat tends to develop Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for part three on my journey.